I don't know who I'm talking to, but uh, hello to all of you. My name's Kim, um, my wife is Lillette, and we live here in Grenada in the West Indies. Um, we started farming here 10 years ago, uh, recovering an old cocoa estate that was completely demolished and destroyed by Hurricane Ivan. Uh, we've done everything on a show st shoestring, we don't borrow money and so forth. And it's taken us 10 years to get the property livable and actually get to the point where we have a good production of cocoa beans. Uh, these cocoa beans have turned out to be extremely high quality. Um, some of them we sell to a company in the UK who make award-winning um, dark chocolate, artisan chocolate makers called Pump Street. We're certified organic um, and we practice our own hands-on version of fair trade whereby the workers on the land get 90% of the value of the cocoa pick which just about doubles their wages. We also give them the rights to plant bananas, help themselves to whatever they like on the land, which gives them an income for them and their families through the season when there isn't a lot of cocoa to pick. And it's about as fair as you can get. We've got to the point now where we want to produce chocolate. And we are actually producing very, very small amounts. Um, the big limitation is machinery and the cost of machinery. I've built a roaster uh, which works on charcoal, probably the only commercial roaster in the world that works on cho charcoal, as far as I can find. I don't know how many of you know much about chocolate making, but after it's been roasted, uh, it has to be winnowed. We've built our own winnowing machine using hoovers. After that, it has to be, um, uh, you take the nibs, which is the inside of the bean, and that is put through a machine called a mullinger, which grinds the beans down with small amounts of sugar to a very, very fine uh, microscopic size, so in fact it becomes a liquid. Um, then it has to be tempered. Uh, we've made our own homemade tempering machine, which cost about $2 or something from the local hardware. Um, and then after it's tempered, it's ready to be poured. The problem we have is that the Mullinger we have are just too small to produce any kind of bulk. So we can only really work with about 10% of our entire crop and we'd like to increase that. The roaster is big enough, the, the room we have is big enough. Um, it's basically the, the Mullinger which, we, which we're looking for money for. I'll buy that. Laughing. No, that's important. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm just in the video. <laughs> when you're ready. Looking straight. Okay. Uh, first of all, Introduce my wife, Lillette. She's the, the, the hidden partner who does all the hard work. I'd just like to say thank you to anyone and whoever it is that support us because this is something that especially Kim is, is passionate about and he worked very hard and I support what he does because I think it's a good idea for, to be able to make value-added products with a crop that we have here. One thing I can say for sure is that when you get a bar of chocolate from us, it's a genuine treat to bar because we live on this farm. We know the people who work on this farm. We work together with them and every person who work here, we work together to make this happen. And when you get a treat to bar from us, it's a genuine treat to bar with a lot of love and commitment going into it. Yeah? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> She's shy. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs>